Hello everyone, Squid of Baconator here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Sigma Emerald, where in this time we will be taking on the Petalburg Gym. Okay, before I begin, there's a couple things I need to talk about. First, I'm sorry I took a long time to get another video out. There's a lot of things that's been going on with me. First off, I would have gotten something last week, but family was visiting. And secondly, I'm still trying to get over a cold that I got over that time. So if my voice sounds a little different than usual, then that's probably why. And I know my last video was a Sigma Emerald, so I really should have put out another Paper Mario video, but I just really wanted to play this again, and I don't know, I just didn't really feel like playing the Thousand Year Door right now. And in general, the past few weeks, I just haven't really felt like making videos. It might just be a, me being lazy, or I really just don't have the drive to make videos like I used to. It's like part of me really wants to keep doing this, but part of me really doesn't. I don't really know how I feel anymore, so right now I'll just continue making videos whenever I feel like it. So right now I just feel like playing Sigma Emerald again, so let's just get right into the gym. So as that guy just said, you need to choose one of these doors to go through and your challenge will depend on what the door says. Now that means that you can pretty much choose whoever you want to fight against, but I usually always fight against every single trainer. And I just remembered, I think this guy has a swallow. Yep, so Breloom is the last Pokemon I really want to send out for this. Now while I'm going through here, I should mention that, that I still need to go through the desert on Route 111. And I'll do that after I go through the gym battle, I just felt like doing this first. Now, since this is a normal type gym, I'm pretty much just going to be using Breloom the entire time. Okay, I just remembered something I wanted to check. I'll be right back. I 
I just wanted to show off that when you call Wally after beating a Laverage Town gym, he says that he left his family in Verdon Turf Town without even telling them. It's definitely something that feels kind of important that really should have been addressed, but is pushed aside towards something that most people probably wouldn't even notice. This is definitely one problem with Wally since it's like after you deal with him in Mauville, you don't really need to see him that much until like really late in the game, which is one of the problems that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire did fix. Okay, sorry for that interruption, let's get back to the gym. I just really wanted to check that and show that off since I'm not sure how many people really notice that. Okay, I'm gonna switch out Bray Loom for a bit because this is going a little too easily and it's a little boring. Of course, the trainers have hyper potions here, so now this is gonna go on a lot longer than I thought it would. I kind of forgot that happens. Alright, I might as well just switch back to Breloom. 
for this last battle. Alright, so now all we got left to do is take on our father, the gym leader, so I'll just go heal my Pokemon quickly first. Alright, it's time to take on Norman. He starts off with a Spinda, level 30, and I'm pretty sure these levels are stronger than what they were in the original version of Emerald. And the annoying thing about this Spinda is that it uses Teeter Dance, which confuses my your Pokémon. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to land any hits because of that, with my luck especially. Yep, just keep purring yourself in confusion, don't even bother doing anything else. Yep, just keep burning yourself. This is going so great. Yeah, you're doing a great job, Aaron. Well, Spinda finally actually attacks again. And Aaron finally snaps out of confusion. See, it would have only taken you one more hit, but nope, you had to keep hurting yourself. And he's already sending out a slack, his slacking. This is definitely something that will really beat you if you're not prepared for it. It's And it's at level 31, which I'm pretty sure is the same level as... It was in the original version. Yeah, I mainly just wanted to use head Headbutt because I knew it had that Citrus Berry and Force Palm wouldn't have taken it out. And also because of this Yawn, I needed to do something on this turn. And he's gonna use Yawn again right after I heal Breloom. Yay. And of course, I don't knock it out, so he's going to use probably a Hyper Potion to heal. And I'll use... Actually, I think I have... Just use a Chesto Berry, so I don't use up my regular healing items. Uh, 
Oh, jeez. That did a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Well, there goes slacking. And now he has a Vigoroth, and I'm just gonna send out Aaron again so I can heal Breloom. Thankfully, I don't think Vigoroth has any moves that will really do a ton of damage to Eren. Other than this faint attack that will probably knock it out before I can knock Vigoroth out. Now, I kind of just want to use Aaron for this, so I'm just going to heal him again. With all these super potions I'm using, I'm really going to need to buy some more after this. All right, there goes Vigoroth. And now he has a line noon, which is, I don't think we've seen that yet. It's Zigzagoon's love evolution. And it's also level 31 like slacking. Now that's not gonna be a really good move in your part. Belly drum. As you see, cuts its HP, but maximizes its attack. But since I have Breloom out, it's gonna easily take out Linoon with that Force Palm, and you just wasted a Pokemon, yay! Facade is actually a pretty decent move if you want to use it, if you don't really have anything else to use on your Pokémon. Then after you beat the gym leader, a Wally's father will come get you. And after this talk, he gives you the HM for Surf, which will finally allow you to travel over water. And now that we have this, there's a lot of old places that you can go, go back to and use Surf to go through and see a ton more trainers and whatnot. And you can also use this to go forward to the sixth gym. Now, one thing that I find kind of funny, as I mentioned earlier, with seeing that call, Wally left his family in Verdant Turf, and I don't think his parents even know, which again is addressed in the remakes and is something that does improve on Wally and his development as a character, because really that is one of the biggest problems with Emerald. Your rivals are probably some of the weakest rivals in all of the main Pokemon games. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. A little shorter than I usually do, but I don't really feel like doing anything else. And for next time, I'll save all of the backtracking through places we can go now. So anyways, thank you all for watching this part of my Let's Play of Pokemon Sigma Emerald. As always, if you have any suggestions on how I can improve my presentation, then please leave that in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys some other time.